I just wanted to say a huge well done for completing this challenge. I think that one of the hardest things about signing up for something is actually sticking with it. So the fact that you stuck through with it until day 14 is amazing. You should be so, so proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. If you're coming to the end of this and you're like, oh my goodness, where do I go from here? I need more. I've made a 12 week guide that you can pre-order now by clicking the link in the description box of this video. It will be out very soon, but you can pre-order it now and get an early bird discount. We'll be going in way more with the exercises, learning so much about our bodies, challenging ourselves, building muscle, burning fat, getting stronger and fitter, giving ourselves that consistent, long-term, healthy lifestyle that our bodies need. If you want to continue exercising regularly, look after your body and giving it the love and exercise that it needs, then make sure that you sign up for my 12-week guide now. Link is in the description box of this video. I'm so, so excited. It's long overdue and yeah, I think it's going to be a real blessing. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I know it. Yeah, it's going to be good. Um, so yeah, make sure that you take advantage of the early bird discount by signing up now. Yeah, I think that's everything that I needed to say. I love you so much. Thank you for doing this with me. Well done. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel in day 14, the final day of the home workout challenge. <sighs> For the final day, as you all already know by your plans, we're doing a rest day, so we're just gonna chill and stretch, increase our flexibility, just relax. All you need is a mat or you can use a towel. Honestly, the floor is fine. And without further ado, we will get straight into the video. So standing with your feet just a little bit wider than hip width apart, we're gonna do some shoulder rolls. So shoulders coming up and back and around. So bringing them all the way up, rolling them back, pushing nice and low, nice long neck. Taking some nice deep breaths as we begin today's practice. And the other way, up and forward and down. Just taking a moment to kind of notice how your body feels. Notice where it's feeling a little bit more achy. Then we're gonna bring arms up, reach on our tippy toes to the ceiling and forward in front. So big circles, arms back behind, reaching nice and tall, tiptoes, you can pause in this for a moment. So we exhale and bring the arms down in front. And reverse the other way. So arms in front, up, reaching towards the ceiling and back behind, stretching out the chest. Coming up onto the tiptoes and releasing the heels back down. Last one. Big stretch, nice and tall. And back down. And we're just going to turn and look over the shoulder. And to the other side. You want to keep your hips facing forward and we're really just turning the head to look behind us, hips facing forward, just rotating the, other the upper body. As we look back at it. One more on each side. Amazing. We're going to bring the feet a little bit wider apart. We're just going to rock from side to side in this position as we ease the feet wider. Nice and slow. Feeling that stretch in the inner thighs. Taking nice deep breaths. 
shoulders back nice and low so you rock side to side and then we're gonna hold it on one side and come down as we press the knee open feeling the stretch in the inner thighs you can flex and point the toe the foot rather just wiggle it around chest up deep breaths and then we're gonna come back to a rocking movement side to side and this time we're gonna come down onto the other side sitting back as we open up the knees we're almost going for an L shape like a 90 degree angle between the thighs chest up, deep breaths, stretching out the foot of the straight leg and then we're going to come back to centre and just allow your hands to land wherever is comfortable in front of you and we're just going to move the hips from side to side keeping a straight leg so just moving the hips almost in the figure of an eight and this should kind of allow you to feel a stretch in your hamstrings and your calves pushing the hips back twisting them side to side just list listening to your body and pausing where you feel the biggest stretch and come back up raise the arms up above the head feet a little bit wider apart and we're going to drop back down reaching towards the ground and moving the hips side to side and just slowly ease your feet a little further apart as you're able feeling the stretch in the hips rocking back and forth so when you feel that the stretch is most intense just hold it there so you are supporting the weight of your body with your hands as well taking nice deep breaths and come back up bringing the legs together all right now what we're going to do is actually come down onto the floor with our knees apart so knee, I'm going to show you from an angle knees apart like this and we're going to continue stretching out the hips and the inner thighs walking the arms forward sitting the feet back deep breath So you want your knees actually nice and wide, feet on the floor as we sit back in this position so you should be feeling the stretch in the inner thigh. And just hold it there for a minute taking some deep breaths. Really pushing the bottom back towards the heels. Feeling that stretch. Then what we're going to do is actually come up and push the hips forward towards the floor, trying to keep the feet on the floor behind you. So don't let the feet come up, keep the feet there as we press the hips towards the floor, intensifying that stretch. Hold it. Neck nice and long. I don't want shoulders for earrings, you want to keep the shoulders down, pressing the hips in towards the mat, you can move them from side to side, 
and then bring the hips back towards the feet as we walk the arms, the hands out in front of us and just pause here, taking a nice deep breath. out in front, feeling that stretch in the inner thighs. And then we're going to walk over towards the right leg and just push the chest towards the knee of that leg. You can flex your foot, you can point it. Flexing the foot will uh, intensify that stretch a bit more, but we're intentionally pushing the chest towards that knee making sure the opposite hip stays on the mat i don't want your hip coming up keep that hip down as we press towards the knee and walk it back to center come up take a deep breath walk it out again Reaching a little bit further this time as you're able. And then walk over the left leg now. Pressing the chest towards the knee of that left leg. Creeping the hands up further and further while making sure that the opposite hip stays on the mat. I know it's tempting to let it creep up a bit. Take some nice deep breaths. Now bring your feet in together, so almost like your feet are in the prayer position like so. Feet together, sitting up nice and tall, hugging the feet in towards the bottom so we allow the knees to open out beside us. You can push them out using your elbows as well. We're just going to sit here for a moment, you can rock it side to side, just find wherever you're comfortable. And then stretch out the legs, trying to hold on to the feet. If you can't hold on to the feet, that's okay. Hold on to the ankles, the calves. But feeling that stretch in the hamstrings and the calves. Deep breath. And then we're going to round the head down over towards the knees. Flexing and pointing the feet to intensify the stretch. And we're going to come back up and as we do so, bring the feet back together. As we take a deep breath, rock from side to side, shoulders low. Inhale and exhale. And then we're going to stretch. 
stretch out again, trying to hold on to the feet as we round the head down over the legs. Getting a little bit closer this time. And come up. Well done. <clears throat> okay, now what I want you to do is to take your left leg just cross it over the other leg so that the feet, the foot is like by the knee or the, the thigh or calf depending on how flexible you are. We're going to sit up and we're just going to bring that leg closer into the body. So hug that leg into the body, feeling the stretch in the outer thigh, sitting up nice and tall, keeping good posture, shoulders low, deep breaths. The left leg is crossed over your body. We're going to take the right arm and we're just going to tuck it in behind that left leg as we turn the body out and look behind us. So nice long neck, feeling the stretch in the outer thigh and the back. Deep breath and back to front. And we're going to do the same thing on the other leg. So bring the right leg, cross it over the other one, nice bent knee, and we're just going to hug that leg into the chest, feeling the stretch in the glutes. I'm going to tuck the left arm in, reaching the right hand back as we turn to look behind us over the shoulder, feeling that stretch in the body. And back to, to centre. I want you to bring your feet flat on the mat so both knees are pointing the ceiling. And we're going to walk the hands out behind us as we scooch the hips forward, chest up, feeling the stretch in the arms and the chest. Moving from side to side as we do so, nice long neck. And then come up a bit. Move the feet a little bit further out and just let them fall from side to side. Chest up so we're not sinking in like this, we're staying nice and tall. Well done. Now we need to bring one leg up, place the foot on the opposite knee like so, and then just bring the planted foot closer in towards the body so you feel a nice stretch in the outer thigh, using the hands to keep you nice and upright, but just bringing in that foot as close to the body as you can, so you're almost putting your own foot in your own face, <laughs> really pushing in towards that stretch, making 
sure that leg is well tucked in. And other leg. So bring the other leg up and just gradually bring the foot closer to the body. Keeping nice and tall, intensifying that stretch. Deep breaths. Rock around with it. And relax. And we're going to come over onto our front on all fours. Arch the back in the cow pose and then hollow it out in the cat pose. Rocking back and forth side to side, moving around as we feel, stretching out the head and neck. Stretch out your feet, your toes, just listen to your body, wherever it's feeling a little bit tight. Just move towards that and hold it there. You don't have to do the exact same that I'm doing. This is just a guide rather than a commandment. hips back, knees together, reaching the fingertips out in front, and we're just going to rest here, taking deep breaths, centering ourselves as we come to the end of our practice. And we're finished. <laughs> well done. That's the end of the video, the end of the 14 day home workout challenge. <sighs> Thank you for doing this with me.